Hey guys, happy Saturday. As you see me, I'm in my scrubs. That means I'm working. I work weekends, guys. So guys, this day that I was dreading is finally here. It is my mother's first year anniversary of passing. Sorry guys, I'm crossing the street. Of passing. How do I feel today? Well, I'm definitely distracted at work. Um, but it doesn't help that like the type of work I do, people pass because they're very sick. And so, um, I mean, that doesn't affect me, it doesn't trigger me, but I walked in this morning, there were two passings overnight, so, um, you know, dealt with those rooms and, you know, I'm doing porter duty this weekend, guys, so, um, good thing about that is I go home at 3.45, I come in at 7.30, leave at 3.45. Um, how do I feel? I feel kind of numb today. I feel like, um, just there, you know? I don't feel one way or the other. I am and have been thinking about my mom the entire month of August. Not just because she passed away today on the 19th, but also her birthday's on the 28th. So August will forever be a very heavy, heavy month for me. Um, August is also my son's birthday, so. But um, ooh, it's chilly out here, guys. I love it. It's like fall. Um, so. Yeah, guys, I'm feeling kind of numb. I miss my mom. You know, I, you know, dealing with the death of a mom, and I'll keep saying this, and, and you know, people might feel differently, but like it doesn't feel like it doesn't hit the same. I'm gonna pull over. It doesn't hit the same with me as it did with my father. Maybe because I was 11 years old when my father passed, but um, I, I just don't. I feel like a mother's passing is so much more profound it's like i'm left with this hole in my heart that nothing ever could replace it's it's hard to um explain but if you've lost a mother out there you know what i'm talking about um you know i've been i found myself thinking about her a lot today you know it takes me back to the time when she passed i was thinking about being there when she took her last breath when they took out her breathing tube and I was just there standing over her holding her hand with my sister and like you know just watching her pass away and not being able to do anything about it because when God calls for his angels you just have to resign yourself to that you know this is what it is I mean I can't fight I can't fight the Lord if, if he needs his angels you know what can I do um, that will always be a feeling of being very helpless for me and I'll tell you why because um, I was the person my mom went to right she used to call me her lawyer her bulldog like I advocated for my mom a lot and so for me I have a little bit of guilt issues because I feel like this was the one thing I couldn't um, fix for her I couldn't bring her back home and you know I'll forever have you know guilt over that I know a lot of people are like oh was it your fault yeah it wasn't my fault but I couldn't fix this you know what I'm saying I could fix everything else for her but this was the one thing I couldn't fix and it's because it's out of my hands right so anyway I say all that to say I'm rolling with the punches today it's almost over um, I'm not even hungry I'll probably just get a smoothie or something um, but yeah my mood right now is very numb very blah like I'm not feeling one way or the other um, and at work I got paired off with this um, she's like a substitute right like when I'm working the porter position right when he's off the weekends he's off and I work the porter position they always send somebody over from the main location right the main hospital like fill-ins they call them per diem people and this particular girl she gets on my nerves even the ones I've never discovered nerves I've never even discovered yet because um, this chick is so lazy and I have no tolerance for laziness like right now my entire body hurts because as I mentioned in yesterday's video I did both porter and housekeeping position yesterday so as a result of that my body is like I feel like I got hit by a Mack truck but I'm here and I'm rolling with the punches and I'm still doing my, my, my job you know to the fullest right but this chick has a habit of like always coming in here she gets here late at times 
um, she, she starts chatting it up with the nurses and whoever's ready to just give her the time of day. Um, and it's slow as hell. Um, one of the rooms, like, I helped her out this morning. Like, I came in and, you know, the protocol is the housekeepers go in the room first and they, you know, they, they deep clean the furniture, the bed and all that. And then the porters, which would be me today, we go in there, we wipe down the walls, you know, and, and do everything else that we need to do. I was nice enough to help her out and I came in early, earlier than I, you know, I come in before 7.30 and I called the main headquarters and I told the boss, I said, you know, I'm here, um, there's two rooms, I'm going to go ahead and do one now, you know, and, and she can do the other one when she comes in, you know, just to be helpful. So, you know, I, I did my thing, I, I, I cleaned the room completely, I did both housekeeping and porter responsibility and, um, you know, by the time she came, that room was completed and I was already doing my porter responsibilities. She comes in, I tell her, listen, um, there were two rooms. These were the rooms. I told her the room numbers. I told her I did one for you completely, so you don't have to do that. Okay, no thank you. That's fine. I wasn't doing it for her to be thankful, but bitch, I, I, I did you a favor. Okay, whatever. I then told her, the other room you have to make sure that you do because, they're, you know, the, the protocol is... No matter what we're doing, right, if, if there's an expiration, we have to hit those rooms first because um, the main campus, the main hospital sends patients from there here. So we always have to have the room clean and ready so that they can have the admissions come in. So I told her this, okay, she, she comes in, I don't, I don't even know if she came in on time because today she's not ruining, I'm not giving her my energy today, I'm already feeling a certain way and I just feel like today will be the day when I'll get fired if I deal with her. But anyway. So I told her the room was ready, you know, and um, one ear, one in one ear came out the other. Um, she just looked at me, okay, um, and so she was, she was lollygagging, guys. She was fucking around and not doing what she was supposed to do, right? Um, she comes in at, I'm assuming she came in on time, 8.30. Let's just say she came in early. Walking around, talking to people, you know, chatting it up, doing whatever she does. And this is what pisses me off because when I come in, I'm all about business. I get my stuff done, right? Because that's what you're here for, right? To work. So anyway, um, she's here like chatting it up, whatever, whatever. And I'm doing rounds, right? Because I'm saying to myself, I'm going to see if she hits this room up first. Guys, that room was not done till 10 o'clock, Okay. I do the first go around and I come back and I tell her, did you do the room yet? Oh, I haven't even touched it yet. And she's cleaning the bathrooms. And as she said that to me, she, you know, I said to her, well, do me a favor when you do the room, you know, let me know so I can go in and do my part. This bitch gave me a look like, like a dirty look. And in my head, I said, Lord, please just let me continue to have patience with this bitch because my initial reaction was, you know, and she's younger than me. As you guys know or may not know, I'm 50 years old. This chick is about early 30s. And I'm like, I will be her like her mother never slapped her. So she'll respect her elders. Because that look she gave me was like she cussed me out with her eyes. But I just looked at her and walked away. Because, you know, if I get fired from this job, let it be for something I do. You know, like that I fucked up on the job. Not because I put hands on her. So I walked away from her. She proceeded to keep doing the bathrooms and she did the, the, the room late and I was like okay whatever um, but she did come to me and tell me that she finished the room because I was already turning the corner going up to her because I was gonna ask her a second time and she went and she said oh I finished the room so I was able to do what I had to do you know so that's it and I called it in and told them the rooms were ready um, but this is the type of shit I'm talking about, guys. It's like, I don't need this today. And it's like, I feel universe is testing me um, with this particular person to see how well I can hold it, hold it in. Because I'm the type of person I don't like to talk. Um, when I was younger, I would just snatch you up. I would grab you and just, you know, put my hands on you. So now that I'm older, I am, you know, a little more patient. But it's that whole, like, you know, you could tell she was never, she never had that, you know, that discipline when she was growing up. She comes off as very spoiled, you know, disrespectful, whatever. Anyway, guys, have the kind of day you deserve. I'm hanging in there. Just wanted to check in. Hey, guys, I'm under the bridge. So if it's a little loud, I apologize. Um, 
let me cross let me take this light to all the young kids out there don't jaywalk it's against the law but i need to be moving anyway okay i got the light now um it is now time to go home fast forward <laughs> it's time to go home i'm heading home i'm heading to the train station now um so how was my day overall uh, bah, you know it was it was what it was um i'm okay like i said i'm just feeling numb i just want to go home it's one of those days where i just want to be home i don't want to be out in public i don't want to pee for um you know i'm still in mourning and it's okay for me to still be in mourning and guys if i look like shit it's because i've been working non-stop and as you know yesterday was a heavy day for me i did two two positions in one so it's like i'm worn down i'm tired so please excuse the mess that's in front of you anyway in regards to that chick i worked with that part-time not part-time that substitute um she tried being helpful this afternoon i think she's trying to warm up to me but my thing with that is it's too late because when i don't like you i don't pretend to like you and you know i don't like you because i won't warm up to you like you'll literally be in front of me standing in front of me wanting me to acknowledge you and i'll just pass right by you um the worst thing you could do to somebody is ignore them and i'm good for that especially if i don't like you um she burned the bridge with me on the first day weekend that i worked here uh when i first started she just rubbed me the wrong way because i'm the type of person i'm not a, a person of gossip i don't like hearing it i don't like being involved in it and she brought so much tea from the main location over to where i'm at and i didn't need to know people's personal business i didn't need to know you know she was just talking negatively right, let me pull over so you know she was talking negatively about everybody and i think she was trying to also get me to um feel a certain way about the job and run because i think she's been wanting to get a position there like a full-time position for the longest and here i come and you know i just got on there and i got you know i got the job i don't know it just seemed like she was trying to get me to run you know scared me to run and i don't run i don't and i, I also don't let people get in my head i think i'm old enough to realize uh things for myself and so when she saw that she couldn't like get to me in that way um you know she stopped gossiping she, she distanced herself and i distanced myself from her too because she already showed me who she was when she started doing that shit anyway guys so i say all that to say that she had rubbed me the wrong way from day one with all that shit she was doing i don't like messy gossiping people um you know she didn't know me from a hole in the wall and she's trying to tell me all these negative things she was even talking negative about you know the big boss and i was just like okay she already showed me who she was i don't like people like this and um you know i just distanced myself from her and i guess that now she's trying to make nice she's trying to warm up to me because i think she's noticed that every other person from her location that has come to fill in for you know some you know somebody who called out and works with me i don't have a problem with i'm not a, i'm not a problematic person and i pretty much like everybody but you know be a hard worker and she's not and take your work seriously and she doesn't and i'm just like and, and stop talking shit about people you know what i'm saying you're there to work not to bring me the tea um from a location i've never really even been to and people that i don't even know so that just rubbed me the wrong way so she was trying to be nice to me you know she helped me out with something and i feel like i still don't like you but i thanked her and the reason why i thanked her is to show her that i have manners because when i helped her out um with one of the rooms which i didn't have to do she never thanked me like i said i wasn't looking for a thank you but it would have been nice and and you know it would have been the respectable thing to do but um you know not everybody's the same i'm from the old school so I, I i thanked her because you know she helped me and i hope that she learned a lesson from that that you know 
as an adult because she's not it's not like she's in her 20s she should know right from wrong by now as an adult you have to carry yourself a certain way you know what i'm saying and i just if people don't match my energy and you have trash you know values and you you carry yourself a certain way we can't even have a conversation anyway guys that being said i gotta get out of here i gotta get on the train i gotta go um pick up my son at work and um i'll talk to you guys soon have a great day bye